I got. I wanted to see just how far I could go with selling things online. So I decided I want to sell something like really weird in a weird place that it has like no business being there. But the thing is, is that I don't actually own any of these things that I'm selling. So if anyone's interested, I'm just going to tell them that I already sold it or it's not available anymore. So I'm going to lie to them basically is what I'm getting at here. This entire video is based on a lie. What's becoming you, Jake? Why are you? Wow. Morals just went right out the window the second the camera turned on. So first things first, I had to think of some items that just wouldn't make sense in certain locations. So I picked Miami, Florida. Real warm. They never get snow. So I figure, hey, I'm going to sell a snowblower and I'm going to sell some snow tires. Killer move, right? Yeah. So I listed some snow tires for a steal on Craigslist. $97 for four tires. That's, that's pretty good. I said, winter tires must go. Keep in mind my listings are probably riddled with grammatical errors because I'm an idiot. I drove to Florida from New York with these. I thought there would be more snow. You guys got great roads. Simple enough, you know? Nice and easy, straight to the point. I added this little picture of a car off the road, you know, like don't be that guy, you know? No one wants to be in that situation, so you should get some snow tires. So the next thing I listed was the snowblower. To make this listing like really believable, I got a picture of a snowblower in someone's garage, and then I found like the stock image, so they're side by side, so whoever can see it, they're like, oh, okay, that's the one. A great snowblower. I bought brand new a few years ago in New York. It cost me an arm and a leg to get it down here. Just trying to recover the loss. Been here four years and haven't seen snow yet. I was told there would be more snow. I have been using it to clear a path to the beach from my rental property, but unfortunately the authorities told me I had to stop. I guess people were complaining. I listed it for 50 bucks. That's a steal for a piece of machinery like that. This probably goes for three, four hundred dollars new. It's kind of a cheaper, cheaper model, but you know, 50 bucks, that's, that's a killer deal. So then I figured, you know what? I'm gonna diversify my listing portfolio here. So I decided to sell a jet ski in the landlocked state of Kansas. I posted a Kawasaki jet ski STX 160. I don't know anything about jet skis at all, but I found a picture of someone selling one and then I found the stock image. And again, I just wrote, I came from New York. No one told me there's no water here. This place is drier than Jack Link's jerky. This thing's gotta go. 750. This jet ski, I would guess, probably goes for well over a thousand dollars. Probably two or three thousand dollars. But again, I don't know jet skis, so I'm just throwing numbers out there at this point. Oh my god, guys, it's ninety six hundred dollars. The last item that I listed was an orange tree, and I posted it in Boston, Massachusetts. I, I gotta be honest with you guys here. I know zero about agriculture. I know zero about plants, and especially orange trees. I mean, I live in the Northeast region okay there's there's no orange trees around here so i figured if i post an orange tree in boston you know that doesn't go they're gonna be like what why why is there an orange tree here in boston so i listed it like this orange tree these are about two feet high and must be planted outside once they're about two and a half to three feet tall no ifs ands or buts do not let them outside if it's below 40 degrees feed twice daily. Sounds kind of believable. I mean, it sounded good to me. So I just like threw it out there. So minutes after I listed them on Craigslist, they removed all of the listings for spam. Rightfully so. They probably keep a close eye on people listing a bunch of stuff at once, especially if it's in multiple locations. So I copied all the listings exactly how I posted them over to the Kmart of selling things online. That's right, you guessed it, Facebook Marketplace. So after a few hours, I had absolutely no hits on the jet ski, no hits on the winter tires, and now this orange tree, dude, I was so wrong about this orange tree. I was like the kid in class who always has gum, like everybody wanted to be my friend. Good night. Is this a dwarf tree? They prefer to be called small trees. All right, people, come on. I'm trying to sell a product here. Is this still available? I'll treat it well, but I don't know much about planting outside. I will look it up over the winter if you grace me with the tree. These are extremely temperamental. They need to be in direct sunlight nine hours a day. I move them around my apartment every 20 minutes or so to capture the best light. Sure thing, I have a window right in winter sun view. They grow quick, so what are your plans for planting outdoors? They can't be in temps below 40 degrees. Do you have a greenhouse? Can you sing? He goes, we have a greenhouse, yes. Why sing? Well, you need to sing to them. You need to so they can breathe. And at this point, I had 50 people messaging me about this orange tree in like a 20 minute time period. So I was like, what the hell's going on here? And then I looked at my listing and I realized that I had posted this for free accidentally. 
So I was like, oh, geez, all right. So that's why everyone wants this. I'm giving out free freaking orange trees here. So I raised the price to $1 just to see if that would like throw some people off so maybe they wouldn't be interested anymore. I know like from free to a dollar doesn't seem like a lot, but like that's 100% more. Hi, is this available? $10. It's a dollar, sir. I'm not running a charity. Hello, is this still available? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Price, what are you selling? No, this is pay. Is this still available? Listen, Iris, you seem like a great person, but you seem like more of an apple tree person to me. Well, let me know if I can pick one up. They're pretty heavy, so I guess it depends on how strong you are. At this point, I'm just having a fun time responding to people, and I have no plans on delivering an orange tree because I don't have an orange tree. So, yes, an orange tree can be sold. That answers my question. But can a snowblower be sold in Miami? I got one response. You should keep it. It might snow. We got a smart guy over here. All right, I see what you want, Charles. So it's clear that you're interested in this fine piece of machinery. I'm ready to negotiate. And then something happened that has never happened to me before. I've only ever heard the tales of aggravated uncles. I was asked to leave the store. My account was locked and I was banned from selling on Facebook Marketplace. Done got sucked, sent to Facebook jail. So that all brings us to right now. I'm still having fun and I wanna list more stuff, but even more than that, I wanna list something really weird and then have someone call me so I can ask them why they want this thing. Maybe something that doesn't exist. If somebody bought a snowblower from me in Miami, I'm like, bro, what's the, what's the deal? All right, what are, what are you doing with this? I'm crossed off Craigslist and I'm in Facebook jail. So there's only one thing left to do. I'm gonna take an ad out in the paper. So I have to think of something really weird that doesn't exist that no one in the right mind would want. So the goal is to find an item that is believable enough to get into the paper, but still not believable. Good morning, thank you for calling Daily Cassette Classified. Hi, um, I have a couple items that I'm trying to get rid of. Am I able to take out two classified ads? Yes, sir. Okay. What is the item you have for the first ad? Um, it's wombat repellent. I picked it up when I was in Australia, but like, we don't, you know, we don't have wombats around here. Okay. I have seven cartons of it. And how much are you asking for? Um, probably about 70, $70. What is the other item you have? It's a, a cardboard cutout of Sigourney Weaver from Alien. It's kind of a collector's thing. Okay. Um, I mean, it's it's like nine feet tall. I think it's like eight foot seven or something. Okay. How much are you asking for? Ooh, probably like 120. Awesome, thank you. You're very welcome. You have a wonderful day. You too. <laughs> I'm selling wombat repellent that doesn't exist in a nine foot tall cardboard cutout of Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> And I'm running an ad for 30 days. Well, if I get any calls, I'll be sure to uh, hop on here. I guess to somebody who doesn't like know, it sound, these sound like real things. All right, so I don't get the paper delivered to my house, but Ryan does. So I just went over to his house and I got the paper. Oh my God, this doesn't look as crazy as I was hoping it would. So there it is, right there. That's my ad. So I guess I'm just gonna wait for a few days and see if I get any calls. I hope there's some weirdos out there who really want my stuff. Hello? This is a second notice that the factory warranty on your vehicle may have expired and should be reacted. False alarm. Hello? Fuck. I missed the call. I'm never gonna sell this. I guess you can't sell a snowblower in Miami after all. I did get one person to call me about the wombat repellent. I am uh, calling about the wombat repellent. I mean, do you, do you know what it is? Uh, I don't, I don't. Uh, I definitely think I might be able to use it. Oh. Um, you know, where did you get that? Oh, uh, Australia. I tried to sell him on the cardboard cutout, but he wasn't having it. But uh, I still have the uh, cardboard cutout of Sigourney Weaver if you want that.
you know, I was really just kind of interested in the wombat pellet. Now, I know that, like, this video didn't really help anybody out, but I hope I at least made your Monday a little better. If you like this video, please drop a like to prove it. Please subscribe to the channel. You guys gotta eat, all right? I'm, I'm getting hungry. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications so you get notified when I post more stuff. And that's it. That's all I got.